Hello everyone and welcome to game three of my semi-final series played against Ragnar in the Spring Cup 2022 uh, Shogun 2 Vanilla and uh, after equalizing the score to 1-1 we are now playing game three on Hida Mountains um, both of us uh, going for the hill it seems where we have a workshop and a shrine in the center. And on the far left, from my perspective, we also have a farmhouse. Um, let's go over the builds uh, real quick. My build looks quite similar to the one I had on Kanto Plains. Um, I have two matchlocks now instead of three with uh, matchlock warrior monks rank five and a Portuguese Terraco, also rank five, so both increased range. Some attendants as well and uh, a melee force of Noda Chi, three of those on rank two, and a bulletproof samurai rank four. Cavalry wise, I have four Yari calf rank two, a fire calf rank four, my melee general, and a light calf on the very left. Likely going for the farmhouse or just going behind him, I don't remember. And for uh, Ragnar, we have a quite a big army again. Uh, as he should uh, play because he has a leadership general. So um, I'm counting one, two matchlocks, um, one, two, three, four Yari Ashigaru, all rank zero, some lone swords, one, two, three, four, rank zero as well, and Nagi Mariam, Naginata Mori, Warrior Monks, four of those rank zero as well. So this is just basically uh, an army that is going to try to brute force. There's not a lot of individual um, uh, high uh, value uh, targets in there. It's just a combination of, of many different units that should be held together by a general in stand and fight, in theory. And uh, as for his cavalry, he has Yari Calf, Level 0 and level 6 on the left. Katana Calf coupled with a Fire Calf, rank 6. And another Katana Calf, uh, rank 0 on the right. So, let's see how this uh, engagement starts. I'm giving attack orders against this Matchlock Ashigaru with both my Matchlock Warrior Monks and my Nagi attendants. Just trying to block him. I think he sees it a little too late. And he's definitely going to lose this match for Gashigaru. But the other Yari Ash is already supporting in Spear Wall, which is a nice reaction by him. And I think he managed to do it in the last second as well before my Nagi attendants got into contact. Now my brain. Yari calf is wavering at 45 men, so I don't want to take uh, any risks and get it out of there as fast as possible, because I can't really afford to lose that one. And now I'm already on my back foot because there's just this huge mass of units coming my way and I have to find basically a, a good timing for me to, to, to approach and that, that window of approach uh, hasn't come yet because I couldn't really use my matchlocks properly. And if I don't use my matchlocks properly then I'm gonna have the, prime, the same problem that I had in game one where I just don't have enough. Uh, melee wise stop his advance here. I'm getting a decent charge. I think into his Yari Ash But again, this is fantastic micro by him again in the last second he managed to activate spear wall Which should buy this Yari Ash level zero uh, Much more time than it would have uh, without spear wall Here I got my Nodachi charged into his Yari Ash and lone swords. This should be um, Quite a wrap up for my Nodachi. It's just uh, completely destroy those two units. Here uh, we got into contact, Lone Swords and Yari Ash against Nodachi again. Also beneficial to me, but it's just a question of how much will I have left in the end, because there's still Nagi warrior monks waiting behind. Um, I think my light calf, okay, it looks like I didn't go for the farmhouse. I didn't think I had enough time to do it because I would have uh, had to dismount my calf. 
So instead I went to support around the shrine and get into his matchlocks. Um, I'm not sure that was worth it, because it looks like with Kev support those matchlocks will survive. And now, basically, I have to pick and choose my engagements. So, uh, But you, you can do it quite well with Noda G, because they have the Banzai ability, which makes them hold much longer than they otherwise would. So you can engage with Noda G, and then fall back with your other uh, troops and uh, get into better positions, uh, which I'm doing with my both my, uh, both uh, both of my matchlocks in the center. Here I'm managing to Our squeeze my fire in calf into fire. this little gap, and it looks like I also got my melee general into a fight with his fire calf. Um, but I should get him out. Yeah, now I'm getting it out because of there's a spear support coming, Nagi warrior monks. And looks like here I got caught with uh, my Yard Calf, so I'm trying to get them out ASAP. So right now, uh, just looking at it from, from above, um, it doesn't look all too great. There's a lot more white flags than there's green flags, and some of those white flags are in between my lines, where my match flags are supposed to be doing the work. Um, so. This, I thought, really could break my neck that my Yari Calf got caught. I have to move them to the side now, because I didn't really give an attack order from the get-go. So I have to get out to the side and then somehow charge back in, so that I get at least something out of it. Um, here, I have to be careful that this Yari Ash doesn't cut off my uh, line of retreat from my Terracos. So I have to get used this Nagi uh, war, uh, Matchlock Warrior Monk to shoot this Yari Ash, all the while retreating my Portuguese Terco. So I'm moving them to the right and getting these Warrior Monks to shoot this Yari Ash. And all the while this move with my Calf managed to uh, get away from the danger of the supporting Nagi Warrior Monks. For some reason I'm winning this fight now. Uh, this I don't quite understand. Maybe just because it's a level 2 against the level 0 calf, but even though, uh, considering that, uh, technically I think I should I should have lost that. That was a bit lucky. Um, here I can now use these Nagi attendants to cover the retreat, uh, the retreat of my Portuguese Tercos. Bringing in my, my uh, melee general as well. I'm basically fifth, probably 50% of my micro right now is just focused on killing this level 0 Yari Ash that's that's getting a bit too close to comfort for my matchlocks. Um, once once this unit is dead, I'm much more comfortable that I can pull, uh, pull it off. Um, now I can use this, uh, this gap right here after his calf has died to get my Yari Calf into his back. And in the center, as you can see, my Nodachi here uh, routed. You can see those green bodies on the lying on the field. That was my Nodachi, but they held for quite a long time, um, and I think it was enough uh, to get my my matchlocks um, into good spots. I mean, this is this is a fantastic position. They can both shoot right, left, and center without any uh, visual obstacles. This is a perfect position for matchlock warrior monks. And these Terracos here as well will also have a pretty good position. And he is now running into the problem that he doesn't have enough cavalry to stop me using the eventual gaps that uh, will open up to, to, to get my calf into. And right about now, I think this game is more and more over. I, I, he managed to catch my Yari Calf here. That was just bad micro. Um, I don't know what happened. Now I have to get them out again. But I can just pick and choose my targets and back charge them and then get, uh, get his units off the map one by one. Um, so at this point, uh, the game is over. And. I think, yeah, this is where we conceded, but I think uh, with just the, the, the mass of, of units that he had, um, maybe it just wasn't ideal to go for, uh, to go for that uh, hill on the left next to the dojo. Um, 
because uh, it's just he didn't really have the, the the penetration necessary to to cut through my lines and there wasn't a lot of gaps to get his units in i mean he only got that one yari ash in to chase my my match locks and uh yeah yari yari ash aren't known to be uh great chasers of units so that was i think a slight positional problem um otherwise i think if he, if he had gone for the center and just gone for the shrine full stop i think he could have had more chances but anyway that was uh game three uh, you see my Noda Chi performing quite well, along with my Bulletproof Sam. No surprises here. Matchlocks as well, 136 kills. And this time, those kills were actually like uh, quite meaningful, not like in game one, where they just sh shot at the tendons. And for him, yeah, Nagi, Nagi Warrior amongst one, one Lone Sword did okay, the others less so. Um, I think it was just a little too big, the army. Uh, it's. He, he, he showed some great micro with Yari Ash, getting them into spear walls in, in, in the la uh, with, with great timing and several parts uh, so during several parts of the battle. But it's just too difficult, I think, to make it work. So uh, with that, it's two to one right now. And that means since it's the best of five series that the next game will be a match point. So see you in game four.